Today we're going to use AI to make this empty background look like a real YouTube studio. And you'd be surprised how quick we can make this happen. Let's try that again. To make this all possible, first let's take a photo of this empty background. So there's two applications we need to make this magic possible, Photoshop and Final Cut Pro. Let's start off with Photoshop. We're going to use their new feature called Generative Fill, and if you want a full tutorial, click the link here or in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is pop open Photoshop. So we're going to take the photo we took of the wall, and let's start adding items, but make sure they don't bleed into the chair, and be mindful of where you'll actually be in the scene. So first things first, go to Layer, hit Duplicate Layer, and then hit OK. Now we're going to go to our Crop Tool, and we're going to stretch this image out to make our office look nice and big. And then we're going to go to the Marquee Tool, we're going to make our selection in the image here, and then we're going to hit Invert. Then we're going to hit Generative Fill, Type in Modern Futuristic Office Space Desk Setup. Hit Generate. Watch the AI go to work. Then we get three options here. I like the first one. We do have to do a little cleanup, so I'm going to use the Lasso tool and trace around whatever this white image is here. Hit Generative Fill. Generate. Watch the AI go to work. And easy as that, the desk looks clean now. I'm going to trace over here as well, hit generate. Now let's add a plant in here. We'll use the lasso tool to trace around, hit generative fill, type in office plant, watch the AI go to work, and that's the image I wanted. For a full detailed tutorial on Photoshop AI generative fill, hit the link here or in the description. So now we have our footage from Photoshop and it's loaded into Final Cut Pro and it's on our main timeline down here. And right above it, we have my video footage I have with my talking head. Now if I hover over both clips, you can see it one on top of the other. But you can see the line here, the rectangle, where the video footage is right over. What we have to do is blend this in and we need a mask to do that. So we're going to go right to our effects button here, type in mask, M-A-S-K, and we're going to take that shape mask and put it right onto our video footage here. So now this is the mask, and if you notice, now the bush popped out, the little plant here, and what we want to do is literally just move it enough to where we want our image to be blended in. I want this centered. And then this is the second line is where you can feather and blend out the image. Now this was easy to blend because if you notice, I made sure that I had a blank background in back of me with just the gray wall. However, if you have a lot of objects and different things behind you, it might be kind of hard to blend. So now, if I hit transform, you can literally see what's behind and where we're blending in everything. And sometimes it's a little off, and so you have to hit that transform button to literally shape and resize things. But luckily, uh, I did it quite easy and well where it just blended right over. So now I'm going to hit done. And if I play it, now you can see it's blended nice and smoothly. If you don't have a huge budget to decorate your YouTube set, I hope these features keep things exciting and keeps your creativity going. I hope you have fun and get creative with some of these new features. Blending applications can be very powerful and exciting. Thanks for stopping by today. Stick around and check out more of my tutorials, product reviews, like and subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and I'll see you in the next video.